Cool. Now, can we talk a little bit about how you go about developing the show from the start? Like, you get an idea, how do you flesh it out in your head? How do you develop your pitch? Can you take us a little bit into your process? Um, yeah, um, um, you know, it, most idea, ideas come from some kernel that you can just keep going back to, right? Um, with Miami Medical, uh, it, was, it, it came off a blind deal I had with Bruckheimer, which was not supposed to be medical and was not supposed to be sent in Miami, but, but we kept going over ideas and we kept turning on things. And I discovered that there were four um, trauma-only hospitals in America where, where the only patients they saw were patients who came in dying. The definition of trauma is essentially uh, uh, the, uh, is that the patients you have are sort of are on, when you get them are within an hour from death. Um, and, and what interested me, the, the kernel for that show was how do you live your own life when everybody you work with is dying when you meet them? Um, and so that was the thing that I kept going back to uh, for that. Um, for uh, Crash and Burn, um, the show that I'm going to do for FX, um, it's about stuntmen in the 70s. And so the thing I found so interesting was, that, you know, stunts now are done with computer models and everything else. And if you want to actually blow up a plane, you don't really blow up a plane. You do, you know... Uh, you've got some actress in a green suit, you know. But back in the 70s, in 70, uh, 1771, if you wanted to blow up a car, you got in a car and you drove it real fast into a wall and you smashed and everything blew up and then you, you tried to get out with your life. Um, and so I was really interested, I am interested in the period of time from then to the late 70s when stuntmen became unionized and there were safety rules, and, you know, but this period of time where you know, you made your living trying to kill yourself. And that, that really interests me about that. And is that essentially how you pitched the project right there? Just how you sold, sold Yeah, it? well, I had a one sentence pitch, which essentially was take all the fucking and drugs and uh, dysfunction and uh, uh, broken people in boogie nights and add shit blowing up. So that was the pitch. And I think, you know, once I got to that point, people were like, okay. And now what's the show? And so then you take that and then you say, here are the people. Um, I like to, 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 to take a show from uh, the point of view of our guy or our girl. So I'll start a pitch by saying, okay, so, you know, you walk into a room and there's a guy, there's a guy on the floor and he can't get up because his back is wrecked and his fingers can barely get around a pill, a pill jar on the ground. And, he, and you read the prescription on the side and it says take two and he takes four. And as he look, looks up at you in hazy eyes and say, hello, you've just met our guy, right? So you try to pitch it from that point of view of this is the person to whom you will latch on to. And then from there, out from there moves all the other people. And this is his wife and this is his kid. And these are the producers. And you know, and you try to build this architecture and say essentially this is the world I'm going to drop you into. And what elements do you find to be necessary in a successful pilot? Um, I, I think you just need one you need a character who you can buy into. Uh, it used to be you needed a character you like. You don't notice, thanks to Walter White, we don't need to like anybody anymore. Um, you need a world that is that is interesting, sort of on its face that you don't have to explain too much. And I feel like you need one um, moment of pure humanity that the audience can buy into. I remember uh, on the Miami Medical Pilot, I wrote this. Um, this, um, oh no, was it? It was actually, sorry, it was on this uh, wedding chapel pilot I wrote, um, which uh, was set in Vegas and it was his wedding chapel and da da da. And um, I wrote this montage of singular moments for the 10 characters. And, and I knew when I wrote that that they were going to pick up the pilot because I knew that was that moment of singular humanity. Um, the joke of that pilot was I thought I was making at the time a version of Nip Tuck, and um, they thought they were making Love America style. <laughs> uh, which nobody told me till after we made the pilot and they were like it's kind of dark I was like well yeah I'm making Nip Talk and they're like no you're making Love America style so that's why that one didn't go